It was so much fun. I mean, we had the beaches, always out in a boat or swimming in the harbor. Chef Brendan Crocker had a happy childhood by the sea. While he's no longer a resident, he is a business owner. He opened the Black Arrow in 2017. For the most part, it's like upscale comfort food. My dad always jokes that he doesn't like to go out to eat because he doesn't know what half the stuff is, so I try to write the menu so that my father can understand at least 80% of it. The haddock is an ode to baked stuffed haddock Chef Crocker's mother used to make. It's a panko crusted haddock with roasted potatoes. That gets a sherry mushroom cream sauce. Seared scallops with smashed Yukon potatoes are served over corn chowder. Hand cut chips smothered in cheese and the burger are guilty pleasures. We do our own version of a Big Mac. We call it the B-Mac with a K. You know, for trade, for, Trademarks. Uh, trademark purposes. <laughs> But if you really want to indulge, this dessert is called the Big Hunk of Chocolate Love. I've actually never seen a bigger or better looking hunk. Double down if you dare and top off your visit with a stop at Captain Dusty's. They've been dishing out homemade ice cream for decades. I never thought I would stay in Manchester by sea this long, but here I am, 24 years later. Lisa Bartlett is the second longest known owner of this cheery yellow shack. The first was Bruce Lesane. He was a porter on a train. He was from South Carolina. And the depression happened and he lost his job and was kind of stuck here. And he became a lobsterman. He started fishing and then he eventually made enough money to buy this little shack. And he was in this spot, in this building for about 50 years. For much of that time, Lassane and his wife Margaret were the only black residents in town. When people would look at him funny, he would look at them and say, it's dust. So he became Captain Dusty. Known for his kindness and generosity, he was beloved. And so his story lives on. The treats served in his name, bringing endless delight. Thank Have you. The cone alone was worth the trip. Wow, and in 2020, Manchester by the Sea celebrated its 375th anniversary. It's pretty awesome. That's Chronicle for tonight. Thanks so much for joining us here together. <laughs> I'm Anthony Everett. I'm Shada Seymour. Good night. We'll see you Monday, yeah. tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs>